Okay. I took the transmission apart to see if there's anything obviously broken on it. And as I see it, I, I don't see anything obviously broken from when, when I did that neutral drop by accident. See, it's like I was kind of like thinking that maybe a chain or something broke or the splines or... But I don't exactly see that for myself, though. I don't... The splines or any part like that don't appear damaged. I was thinking that some of these... And then I was checking to see if this gear is the one that broke. But it doesn't appear to me that it is. See, I spin this over here. That one spins. It doesn't appear and to me that the transmission is bad. You know, that's just my take, though. But since this thing is taken apart, I would probably think I would might as well rebuild it now or put in the new parts. But I, I cannot see anything wrong with it unless these clutches gave up. But I didn't see any dirt, though. I didn't see any residue when I drained the fluid, though. And not even in this little thingy that, like the magnet that catches a... And the fluid doesn't look contaminated or anything. Hmm. It makes me wonder what it is. And see, there's the clutches right there, obviously. And then, seems to me... And then here's the other parts of the transmission. See this part right here? There's one part. Right here. And that's like the clutches in there. But it's like they don't appear bad or anything. I, I wouldn't know. But And then here's more parts of it. It's like another part. Hard parts. It goes in here. And then, it's like here's another part. I was checking the planetary gears, too. But those don't appear to be bad. They don't appear to be bad to me. Did you see it? Planetary gears. They don't appear to be bad. They're not broken or anything. See, I just don't want to... And here's three... More planetary gears. Okay, I'm trying to see here. It's like some of them. See here's planetary gears. Those don't appear. I was thinking that those were going to be bad. But they're not. And then here's another. Here's a bearing that goes over here. And then this part is another planetary gear assembly. And they're not broken or anything. So it makes me wonder. Like, it, So to me, I don't know about anyone else, but to me it would sound like the torque converter is what, what, is what broke from the car. But I could be wrong, though. I, I don't see anything wrong. About, see, I don't know a lot about transmissions, but by the way, taking this apart was nothing to it. It was nothing, nothing to it. See, here's more parts. Like this, all these parts, it goes like, <laughs> all these, like it goes like the way I put it in. You know, they slide in easily and everything, you know, they're, I mean, they don't, they don't, it's like, it doesn't look like it's, com it's that complex, you know. You know, they, they make it sound like it's really complex, but it's not. It's not that, it's not that complex. And one thing I could tell you, I, I feel that I can, I could rebuild this myself. I could do this myself. And they, they, you know, sources scare you about needing special tools and stuff, but it doesn't feel like it does. I don't feel like I need special tools, you know. I was Googling it, and sources is telling me that we really don't need that. We don't really don't need special tools. We just need, like, like, like a snap ring removal tool. Here's a band of the transmission, which goes around here. And then this part, 
Blah, blah. Don't be playing around in there, baby. This part installs on top of this. And then this... This part right here. It installs over here. Baby, you need to get out of there, baby. Get out, baby. You might get hurt. And then this is the differential assembly. Differential. Nothing seems to be wrong in here either. So here it is. You know, see this bottom? I'm turning it. I was thinking like a belt or a gear broke in here or something, causing this to do that. And then here, like this, hooks up to here. And then this top of the transmission, it goes up to here. And then this is like the the oh, the mouth the mouth of the transmission here. It, it looks easy to me. I, I'm telling you right now. It doesn't look it's, it doesn't look hard at all. It does not look hard at all to do the principal rebuilding of the transmission here. I'm telling you right now. It doesn't look hard. It does not look hard. I'm telling you. I'm not sure how much the rebuilding kit would cost or anything. But I do know one thing. We don't need special tools. Well, we do, but we do. It's just a few little special tools. But maybe, like, got to work in a really clean environment. And we got we should have a parts washer. And, and of course, you got to have some, you know, you got to have knowledge on how to, to like, do it where, where you're not going to make a mistake and stuff like that. And that's it.